Hi, this is Vicky from the Spellbound Bead Company and in this video I'm going to show you how to put a bead and loop fastening onto a herringbone rope. So in this video today I'm going to show you how to put the fastener onto a herringbone rope chain. So here is a length of herringbone rope that I've already uh, been working on and uh, to show you how to finish it off the first thing you need to do is pull these two sides together because of the way herring bones work you end up with this sort of v-shape on the end of the rope so to bring that together what we're going to do is we're going to essentially make another ladder stitch so you're going to come down through two and up through two and then turn and we're going to go down through two now because these two are already connected we're actually going to skip round and come up through those two and down through those two and then back up to the top Oops. okay now this particular um, fastening is a bead and loop fastening so I've got a couple of uh, six millimeter facets that I'm going to use to make the clasp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up one size eight to match the colour of the rope I'm coming out of. Then I've got a couple of I've got some size ten seed beads here as well. And I'm just going to pick up a couple of those, one of the uh, six mil facets, uh, a ten, an eight, a ten, a second six mil facet, and we'll go for another eight. And we'll put a peak on the end, so I'll pick up three size 10 beads there. Pull those down. And then we're going to leave aside the last three beads threaded. And we're going to come all the way back down through till we're coming out the beginning of those size 10s there. The size 10s just give you enough space so that you can make a nice tight loop. And it will just fasten nicely, make give you a bit of room to get your fingers in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come down. I like to work on the diagonal because that way you can centre your fastener in the middle of the rope. So I'm going to pick up one of these blue size eights. I'm going to go down into the rope. I'm going to come back up through one of the beads around the rope. I'm going to pick up corresponding size eight. I'm going to go up through the beads. Through the beads of the pico, oops, through the beads of the pico, and come back down, and back down through. Says, there we go, back down through there, and we're going to pick up the final missing bead off the rope and come back down into the rope. Great. Now to finish this off, we're just going to go and make a knot around there through a couple of beads. Make a second knot. And then we're going to change direction. Change direction. Okay, we're going to make another knot. There. Go through another couple of beads because you never want to cut the end of your thread right next to the knot because that's going to encourage it to come undone. And then we're just going to snip the thread off there. And that is how you put the first end on. And then I didn't leave a very long tail, so I'm going to just tie a bead onto the end of this thread that's left here to act as a, a stopper. There we go. And I'm going to start the new thread at this end here. And we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to make a loop of beads that will fit over those size, uh, sorry, those six millimeter seed beads there. So. Pull that through. So again, 
I'm going to pick up a matching bead and then I'm going to pick up a contrast bead and then I'm going to pick up enough beads to go over your 6 mil facet. So in size 10 you're looking at about 15 or so. Four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Pull those down. And we're going to go through that contrast bead there. That just helps you know where you're going to make your loop. So we've made your loop. And now is the time to check how it fits. So that's that's going to be a little bit loose. So we're just going to come back through here. Like so. And we're going to take off a couple of beads off the end. There. And go back. And we're going to check this again. Now, it is always worth checking because if you're using beads that are slightly different to a pat the pattern, so if you're using a bead with a coating on, um, that makes the beads slightly larger, so slightly thicker, so you'll need slightly fewer. See, now I've taken too many off there because that's not going to go on. Um, if you're using frosted beads, frosted beads are slightly smaller as a general rule, so you'll need a few more of those. So it's always worth taking the time to check because it would be awful if you put all the effort into making your lovely piece of jewellery, necklace or bracelet, um, only to lose it because it's fallen off because you didn't take the time to check that the loop was going to fit properly. So that's going to fit. Okay, so we'll come down and we repeat the process that we had at the other end. So I'm going to come down through there and that will centre the bead up. We'll go up through the silver. Back up. In there. And we'll go round the loop again. Now be careful when you go round this loop a second time that you don't pull it too tight because again if you pull it too tight so the thread is very tight around your loop it will make the loop a little bit tighter and then you run the risk of cracking a bead, crack, uh, sp snapping the thread as you try and uh, attach it, uh, try and fasten your bracelet. So let's just pull that through here. Oops. Put that through there, and through there, like so, and then we're going to fasten, tie a knot, and finish this off in the same way, and obviously finish off all the other thread ends that we've got going on as well, and that is how to attach a clasp to a herringbone rope sheath.